Hi guys, welcome back to Hit Point In. Name's Raval. Today we are continuing with Bannerlord. We have just declared independence from the Western Empire. We've taken the fiefs, and now we are ready to try and survive the Western Empire onslaught. Now that we've uh, empowered them to Kingdom Gum, it's now time to survive. So, I've decided that I am going to be utilizing Vlandian soldiers. And we're going to be utilizing those Landian soldiers as garrison for Sargot. I think uh, that's going to be needed. Hey, Nahodo Connect, indeed. Our own kingdom, my precious. We'll see if we can survive. I'm not holding my breath, though. Okay, so let's see. We got the caravan of the Western Empire. Currently, we're only at war with. Okay, war strategy is going to be defensive. Currently only at war with the Western Empire. That's good. Let's go to policies. And we're going to look to activate all policies. Tier 3 plus clans gain 0.5 influence per day. Influence cost of inviting lower tier ar clans to army are increased. That's fine. Let's see. Feudal inheritance. Cost of revoking a fief from a clan is doubled. Clans gain 0 0.1 influence for each fief they own. Alright. Serfdom. Villages grant 0 0.2 influence per day to the owner clan. Uh, towns gain 1 security but lose 1 militia per day. Huh. Not really needed. Noble retinue. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to be looking through the policies and decide exactly which ones we need and which ones we don't. Oh, never mind. I can't even do that because we don't have enough influence. We're going to have to wait on that. We'll look into it a little bit later. So, 555 defenders. That's fine. I'm going to go and further fortify Sargot a little bit. First target should be Veron. And we're sitting on 64 infantry, 72 archers, 18 cavalry. Kind of would like to get a few extra infantrymen. Uh, but that's why the allied troops are there. The 40 plus party size for king is OP. Yes, it is. And we'll probably take it. We just need to increase some influence. Gain some influence so we can get that. Gotta build more ziggurats? Sorry, wrong faction. We're not the undead from Warcraft 3. What do we do for prestige? Ah, uh, just wait. Each day we receive plus 5 from Immortal Charm, 1.82 uh, from clan members in the army. As a king, I receive 3 per day. Settlement building supporters and senate are also giving us some extra. So we're going to be looking to improve those stats. And we're also going to be recruiting all of the prisoners we can. So for the personal army, we are going to just utilize Empire soldiers. But I've decided that for the town itself, we're going to be getting Vlandians. And it seems my boys got some Vlandians in here, huh? I think my boys just recruited everybody in town. So that's going to be a bit weird. I really hope those Vlandians become uh, crossbowmen. We'll see. Also, I feel like we do not have enough money for this. We'll look to make more cash. I think we're gonna focus on doing orders as well. Oh, it seems we're already doing orders. Okay, now that's that's fine. Okay, let's. Oh, uh, what's the current loyalty of the city? Okay, our uh, reigns the governess. She is gonna be bringing in that loyalty. Pretty nicely. Uh, we finally have the city under control. I'm actually going to invest 10k into there. So loyalty governors culture plus one, owners culture minus three. What are you going to do? Well, strapped parade plus five. So we can wait here for a little bit, or we could go on the offensive. I don't trust it. I don't trust it yet. I feel like we shouldn't go on the offensive, because if we lose once, we're Dunyan McToasty rings. I think what we need to do is we need 
to take the take out as many of them as possible. We're gonna take them as prisoners, as many of them as possible, and uh, lock them in a tower somewhere. And afterwards, hopefully, we should be fine. Alia gains skill points in steward. Is she gonna be getting something at 250? I think so, yeah. If we, I've already checked, yeah. All right. Alia is going to be the new governess of Tractore once I'm satisfied with her stats. In terms of engineering, who is uh, participating? So is that my my other brother? Okay, I'm good with that. So Dexian is the one. Hey, Mathaz. We try to finish Baldur's Gate 3 without restarting to try a new build, but every time you see me play Mountain Blade, I make the game look so fun you end up switching back. That sounds like a you problem, good sir. Thanks for dropping by, man. Um, well, if just watching me play doesn't satisfy you, jump on in and uh, start a new playthrough. Villages of Trektor are moving around. Oh, I think I'm seeing something. Ah, just villagers. I don't think I'm going to be attacking villagers, but I'm going to try to force some of their villagers to uh, join our side. I might do that. Oh, wait. Uh, Gamerdan and... Right, those are my cities. I wanted to say that uh, those are Vlandian, but no. My flag is red. And I do like the, uh, the red on gold. Looks good. Looks Roman. Leadership is going good. You played with Tyrion for a while, and how did it go? Was it better than with Imrek? Tyrion? Uh, Vigla boys, equities, nah. Just give me the Imperial recruits. Glad to hear it, my man. Glad to hear it. What type of armies do you get? Carbans and rebels were destroyed. Rugen has been executed by Ingalther. Sure. Carbanseth. I see, so it's back in Vlandian hands. So Veron Castle will be our first target. Veron and Garen Tor would be great. Just made allies with all of the High Elves? Yep, yep, that sounds about right. So I guess you're fighting the Dark Elves on Northwest and the Vampire Pirates, the South? Are those your current enemies? Not exactly sure what's the new positions in Warhammer 3. Hell, I'm not even sure which Warhammer, which Soul War Warhammer you're playing. So with just 154 defenders, that should be cake. The only problem is I'm not exactly sure if I can hold. My plan would be to grab their armies, beat them up, and then I talk with all of the boys, with all of the uh, lords, and try to convince them to join my inside. I guess we have to convince the clan leaders to join us, so we're gonna have to hunt them down. No wars currently, and you're in Warhammer 2. All right, cool, cool. So yeah, uh, Dark Elves to the Northwest. Well, North and West and Northwest. You got the Vampire Pirates to the south. You got the um, Lizardmen to west-southwest. Or you could fight Grom in the east in Britannian, Bretonian lands. Also, Bretonia is a good ally. You might want to make friends with them if they're still alive. They're good trading partners for you. Okay, it seems Vlandia Vland, uh, is at war with uh, with uh, the what's their name, Sturgeons. Hmm. Here in Thor. So I would grab Theron Castle and I would give it to somebody. Clan Maniolus. Manio. Clan Maleonis, Clan Tier 3, Clan Strength 406, we would have to find Vipon, and Vipon has 58 relations with us. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Too bad we can't send a messenger to Parley. God forbid. 
have real real life options no sir we don't do that here 466 maybe we can take it still haven't seen any movement from uh from western empire might be able to hit the iron while it's hot okay yeah let's not wait anymore i feel like uh the longer i wait the bigger problems i'm going to be facing can't cash looters anymore. Hey, sub. Welcome back to the end, man. How you doing? Lurk away. I'm trying to siege a Varon castle. We'll see how that goes. Infantry 300, ranged 134, and cavalry 40. All right. Online safety training today, super boring. Yeah, it is. But when you let your guard down, that's when they get you. We siege the castle. Building a siege camp. They're going for those, uh... They're going for those catapults. Ooh, and they're building them fast. Stop. Do I... Can I build these automatically? Ballistas are effective against enemy ranged weapons. They can also pick up individual enemies at range. Rebuchets take time to build and set up, but given enough time, will turn enemy defenses to rubble. Ponders are effective against enemy siege engines as well as walls. Alright, let's start doing that. There. Ballista. Trebuchet. We're gonna go with that. So, do I have to wait for the siege camp to be built and then I'll be able to attack? We'll see. That seems to be the case. Yep. Now they're going up. Dexian is increasing his engineering, which is good. Well, actually, everybody in, in the army is increasing their engineering, which is great. We'll have to pull it in reserve soon. There. All Trebuchet is good, uh, than other siege weapons, right? That was, uh, yeah, that was at one point. Now we have to see if, uh, another setup is better. I'm trying to go double onager, one ballista, one Trebuchet, and see how they do. Alright. Dexian now has engineering, so what do we got? Uh, 10% build speed to non-ranged siege engines. 10% build speed to ranged siege engines. Hell yeah, I'm going with that. There. Let's see what happens. And stop. Move to reserve. Good. I'm seeing somebody, Eronis. Not seeing anybody else. As of yet. Good. Recruit all. Glorious. Stop. Move the reserve. And then once the trebuchet is done, we are going to be fielding all of them. And we'll see how they do. The Ballista of Caesar has been destroyed. No, I don't think so. I still... Uh, I might be destroyed. We'll see. What's going on? My leadership is now 225. What do we got? Great leader. Plus five battle royals with troops at the beginning of a battle. All right. And make a difference. 100% battle royals to troops when you kill an enemy in battle. And 10% shared experience for archers. Uh, go great leader. How about raiding the villages and starving the garrison? I'm not sure if that actually works. We'll see. Good. Nathan's engineering is now at... Oh, no. Is, uh... Is my castle being besieged? Oh, boy. Okay, we're gonna have to check that out. 
And stop. Catapult. Catapult. Oh no! Oh yes. Go, go, boys. Go, go. Fire away. Monitor back up. Alright. Monitor is tanking, which is fine. Ballista needs to come back up. Are we not attacking the catapult? Uh, Dexton is engineering is now 47. Fire catapult has ran hit ranged engines. Okay. So I'll see two over there. Okay, catapult destroyed. Got to crack the other one too. Come on. Good. And I think now would be the time to... No, wait for uh, that to be done. And the ballista. Good. Catapult destroyed. And stop. We now have the equipment. We now have the gear. They don't have anything. So now would be a good time to start the siege and bombard them. Let's see if we can make that happen. So engineering is now 50. What do we got here? Dungeon Architect, minus 25%. <laughs> ah, it's a reference to Prisoner Architect. Okay. Uh, nice reference. 25% chance of ranged siege engines getting hit while under bombardment. And as a governor, minus 25% escape chance to prisoners in dungeons of governed settlement. Good. And siege works. 10% HP. And plus one pre-built catapult of the settlement. 100% HP to range siege engines. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to go Dungeon Architect. We'll go with that. So minus 25% chance of range siege engines getting hit while under bombardment. So they just have a evasion buff now. That's very cool. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's lead the assault. So I think what I have to do is I have to tell everybody to ho to follow me. Uh, okay, so things are actually a little bit more complicated. Uh, let's see, so I want... Ah, oh, Nathan is with me now. Oh, right, he's no longer the governor of Tractore. I put ca uh, Castella. So that's why his engineering was increasing a little bit. Doesn't a hundred percent make sense, but sure. All right, Zelada is going to be in charge of the infantry. Oh, I have to. No, no, no. I don't have to assign. Those are the actual positions of the engines. Okay. All right. Jimmy needs to be the archer captain. Good. We have two groups of archers. That's weird. We have multiple groups of archers. What if I remove these guys and add them over here? There. Alright, and loose formation is definitely better. Let's see. What can we do? Can they properly fire upon the walls? Okay, then with infantry, we have two squads. Go shield wall here. And then number four, go shield wall. No, go shield wall here, I think. I'm also curious to see if we can just gain distance. Just stay way behind the siege engines and let them do their work. We can try that. We will try that. If it doesn't work, we're just going to be moving the archers up and let them fire at the boys. Okay, uh, now I actually have to assign all of them to their particular location. So Para... Well, Para is in a... Wait, I'm the only one with a horse? Right. 
Uh, Perry's gonna need to be in the infantry, I think. Uh, Dexian Archer. Caesar, I'll be infantry. Akadan, infantry. Arston Archer. Actually, I think Akadan might be an archer too. You can really see his gear. Uh, Nathan is definitely an archer. Borgia Archer and Ali Archer if we can. Okay, good. Now I'll press ready. And shall everybody just chill? There. Who are those guys? I don't know who those guys are and why they're running away. Alright, bombardment has begun. Archers move a little bit up. Infantry a little bit forward. Make room for the boys. Infantry go there. Yeah, I have no idea why those guys are running towards the enemy. That sounds like a bad idea. Alright, archers. Go up there, infantry. There. There. Ooh, nice hit. Nice hit. All right, archers. Uh, I don't want the archers to go up at the walls, so let's see what we can do about them. Always nice when you have artillery. Yeah, oh lord. Oh lord, we smushed them so well right there. Beautiful, glorious. All right, I'm gonna position the boys right here. They're gonna open fire, they're gonna do their shtick. I'm a bit worried that we're gonna have some friendly casualties with the artillery. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Archers are having a ball. Oh, maybe I shouldn't get close to the wall, just saying. Okay, let's see what happens if I No! No 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 no. Oh my goodness gracious. Everyone hold fire, everyone open fire. I am taking command of the situation. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. No, 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 no. Sweet loving Jesus, please. Okay, yeah, why didn't I think that would happen? Everybody back, boys. Everybody back. Why are the archers going up the wall? What in the fuck is going on? Okay. There we go. Archers here. 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 All right. Infantry. Who are these guys? They're not in a shield wall formation. My goodness. Go, go, go. Everybody's firing, right? You get into hold position until the artillery runs out of ammo? Yeah, I agree. I 100% agree. Don't know why I didn't think of that a little bit sooner, though. So how much... Uh... Yeah, that boy's up there. Doing the deeds. Okay, further up. Got him. Why are you there, sir? Why are you guys going up? Holy hell. Just stay here, Jesus. Nice shit. Of course I missed. Okay. The archers are in horrible positions as well. All right, everybody loose. Everybody loose. 
Loose. There we go. Bombardment is going. Siege bugs? Yeah, siege bugs, or I'm just being incompetent. That's also a possibility. Hey, Damn D, welcome back to the Enemy Man. How have you been? I haven't seen you in quite a while. I should be careful. I should really be careful. Dudes, why are you pushing the ladders up, you crazy sons of bitches? Ah, doing good. Trying to manually handle a siege properly. It's doing something. Nathan's medicine is increasing? Why Na is Nathan's medicine increasing? I have a dedicated medic for that. Why is he the one who's increasing the me the medic? Okay. Alright, arrows up here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Then you boys up here. Trying to give them a position to fire upon the booty cheeks of the enemy. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Are we out of ammo? Is it over? Are we Gucci? It feels like we're Gucci. I'm not seeing people firing anymore. Good. But... But go go boys go go your time to shine Feel like we should have should have been attacking the gate here, but okay No line of sight What for the sieges or for whom? Oh No, 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 you guys stay over there you guys come up here. And you boys come up here. And keep firing. Keep firing me to glory. Things are looking good. It's okay. They Oh, they have a better better accuracy now. Since we've taken the wall. Good stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks. They let us in. I got one. I got one. Okay, my horse can. Okay. Command your troops to that location, can't you? Uh, think they'll breach the closest entrance? Nah. Nah, they won't. They won't. It would be cool if I could just look towards the gate and tell them, and tell them to engage. That'd be nice. But nah, we're fine. We got it. We got the place. Let's see what are the... Casualties. We lost 59 dudes. Nathan lost 18, Akadan lost 15, and Carson lost 20. And that's why uh, Nathan was receiving medicine, because he was providing medicine for his own troops. Interesting, I thought they would receive the medicine of the big boy, the biggest medic. That's fine. Uh, taking the Imperial Legionnaire, taking the Elite Manavliaton, trained archer. Archer, I'll grab the recruits. Infantry, yep, yep. Oh, no, no, not the militia. Don't take the... We're not going to take the militia. Heavy horsemen and the equities. There we go. Good. And then we got a Palmation. Could be worse. You did You did have a lot of uh, low-tiered guys. Yes, that's true. Hopefully they're going to level up to shields this time around. But no, no, no. Uh, if I would have told them, told the boys to engage while the siege engines were firing, it would have been much, much worse. Also, ballista useless. Not building one again. Ain't touching that anymore. Okay. In terms of weapons, there's a few tier fours, but we're just gonna give it to the boys and let them level up. Uh, there's a balanced hunting bow. I'll grab that because I think I can give it to one of my companions. Uh, take the large bag of arrows as well, just in case. Armor tier four. Grab the two horses, well, four horses. And an archer's flag. Increased range damage by 4%. Now, what do you guys think? Um, what, which flag is better? 4% accuracy for archers 
or 4% damage for archers. Fight. Alright. Uh, you cannot devastate the settlement that has your faction culture. You cannot pillage the settlement that has your faction culture. Okay. Accuracy, I see. You like the 30% speed for archers, damn day? Or for infantry? Damage for higher tier archers? Hmm, I see. So Therun is stating, if you have high tier archers, they already have good accuracy, so just giving them a damage boost will help them a long way. Is that what you're thinking? I think for how fast you run, speed is good. I feel like speed is good on melee infantry. Not necessarily for archers. Archers just need to stay away and shoot good. Drink mercy to us alone the chairs refaction culture which requires no influence. And we would just lose 23 prosperity. Show mercy. Your men treat the residents of Veron Castle as wayward subjects of the Calradian Empire rather than foes, and treat them relatively well. Prosperity lost 46. Veron Castle has fallen to your troops. You may station a garrison here to defend it against enemies who may try to recapture it. Continue. Good. I'm the new owner of the castle. Yeah, just do damage? I see. It does make sense. We'll have to do a headcount on how many... Oh, that's not a lot of troops. <laughs> on how many... Soldiers are... Sorry, how many uh, archers we have and what quality they are. Spurs not supposed to be this easy. I'm literally getting 30k a week from Enterprise, which is literally infinite cash. Uh, yes. Yes, don't worry. You're gonna be, you're gonna be using that money for uh, high tier troops and uh, gear and stuff. You'll be fine. Actually, no. Most of that money is gonna be invested into your uh, personal soldiers, into your honor guard. Manage castle, and we'll set governor. So Dexian's good as an engineer, I like him. Custom Nitro does really drain out of the money, indeed. Well, it's in Paris, no, it's not knighthood orders that you're gonna be getting. Uh, we'll set up Para. Yeah, Para's not really useful for me right now, and Nathan has enough kids. So we'll set up Para as the governess. She should be fine for a while. Governor's culture minus one. Is this place supposed to be a baton of Batanian culture? Also, 34k. Wow, that went down fast. If you guys hear uh, kids screaming outside, it's because they're getting stabbed. No, it's because kids are loud. That's why, sadly. So put one there, and that should be fine. Now we just gotta bring in a lot of recruits. Yeah, I know. Nah, I know. And sadly, there's no way for me to block the sound. Lord's Hall, I don't think that matters. Here's the dungeon. We can use Varon Castle as bait for a lot of their armies. Just want to exit and see if everything's okay. Mm, they haven't made a move on our position yet, so that's fine. Let's wait here for some time, heal the boys up. I guess I need to verify. Uh, okay, so Alia is the quartermaster, I'm the surgeon, and... Dex is the engineer. Just wait until they're in your house? Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine that's going to be a handful.
We'll see. Hopefully, uh, they're gonna... They're gonna behave like their parents, and they're gonna be a little bit on the, uh... Silenter side. Silenter? More silent side. Hashtag little rev. Mm-hmm. Hashtag little rev. Okay, let's travel, check on Tractori. So there is literally 60 defenders in Veron. It, it is a beacon. The Western Empire should uh, gather to it like a... Like a fly to a um, fly swat. No. Like a moth to a flame. There it is. There it is. We'll see how that's going to pan out. Still uh, really bleeding a lot of cash. 4.4k for garrisons. Youch. In a few days, I'm not going to have enough money. Ooh, I guess that was one big mistake that I made. Didn't, didn't acquire a big enough uh, war treasury. Yep, bankruptcy soon indeed. I guess I'm going to start... Oh, right, I need to level up all of these boys. And I'm going to start grabbing the gear and sell the gear instead of utilizing it for the experience for the soldiers. I'm going to be forced to do that. Let's see. Sell one of those. Sell the silver, the leather, keep the rest. We'll see how that's going to work. Uh, Smithy, I assume. Okay, the two-handed axe should bring me some cash. Did I rush into kingdom creation? Maybe a bit when it comes to money. Could have gotten a bit more. Spart axe head, nice. Uh, let's see. I guess I should invest into a little bit of extra cohesion. Good. Done. Uh, let's visit some villages. I want my boys to grab some extra soldiers. Replenish those numbers. Sadly, with each soldier uh, replenished, I gotta pay more. Let's go east. Gonna touch back the city again. Hopefully there's some extra recruits. Nope. Oh, right. Uh, tavern district. Well, I think we'll ransom all of the prisoners this time around. Because I need to focus on uh, making money. For example, if I could capture that caravan, that'd be great. Okay, next target would be Garantor. The only problem with uh, being in an army form is we're going to be having a hard time catching up to other to other parties to um, beat them up and uh, capture them or talk with them. We'll see how that's going to go. So, Dexian looking good. Yeah, so in one siege, 56 engineering. Not bad. Okay, might have not have been 56 engineering, but a decent amount nonetheless. So Varon is now sitting on 70 defenders. Um, okay, Akadon leveled up. Congratulations, what do I need in a lord? 95, 76, 100, and 7 writing. Guess I'm going to be needing tactics for him, huh? Because his tactics is a bit abysmal. Stuart is going to be increasing his numbers. Master Engineer? Hell yeah! Hey Dex, hey Dex what's up? That'll do for now. Anybody else needs a pick-me-up level up? No? Good. 
We'll go to Veron Village as well. Okay, 2.8, and we're sitting on 260 influence. All right, let's uh, let's look into the policies now. So feudal inheritance, uh, cost of provoking a fee from a clan is doubled, and clans gain 0.1 influence for each fief they own. Villages grant influence per day. Noble retinue, tier five plus clans lose one influence per day, and the party size of their leader is increased by 40. That's very cool. Sadly, we're not a tier five clan. Road tolls, trade tax paid to the town owners increased by 3%. But town prosperity is decreased by 0 0.2. Yeah, it has some good good music. We will enact that. Castle charters. Castle uh, nobles are encouraged to fortify their states. Castle upgrades costs are reduced by 20%. We'll do that. Grazing rights. Settlement loyalty is increased by 0 0.5 per day. Daily hearth production and village is decreased by 0 0.25 per day. Hmm, tempted. Sacred Majesty. Ruler clan earns three influence per day. Non-ruler clans lose. Yes. Land tax. 5% of village income is paid to the ruler clan as tax. 5% less village income for clans. Absolutely. That's going to be the next one we're going to get. We're going to be entering some... Uh, borderline tyrannical uh, policies until we stabilize and maybe we're gonna just keep them in effect even afterwards we'll see but the idea would be to get the goodies get goodies get money so we can afford maintaining our current forces we're outnumbered six to one for now That's with us. Uh, yep, send in the troops. Golly gee willikers, mister. I'm so glad that nobody died. Alright, grab everything. Let's go to Varon. Grab some soldiers for the boys there. Good. I guess I'll stop by Cantrek if I if they're gonna give me some. Good, good. Get those boys. And no, don't recruit the looters. Move south. Not seeing any movement on me. Essel has died in childbirth. Ooh, that's nasty. Relations with notables are increasing. I'm gonna travel towards Tractore, see how see how that place is doing. So are you going to try to conquer the world or just doing the main quest? Uh do the main quest and afterwards the world. Why not? Oh lord, the money, though. Oh lord, the money. <sighs> I think I can uh, try to take out the elite cataphracts. I think they're incredibly expensive. 17. Okay, that, maybe not that expensive. Hmm. What about a legionnaire? 12. Okay, in comparison, it's still quite expensive. So 17 times 10, that's 170 per day. So that would be 170 divided by 2, that is 85. So 85 plus 170, that's around 255, no, 65, maybe. Okay, that's how much I would save if I would take those guys out. Well, I think I know what to do with them. I can just give them to one of the party members, Akadan or the others. They, they'll get them killed in some battle somewhere. 
should be fine. Let's check out oh, right I didn't check on Tractore. I don't think I'm gonna have enough to invest. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough to invest into the reserves of the place. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that toll collector being done. Oh yes. Let's go to Sarga. Actually, no. Let's check the garrison over at uh, Garantor. In terms of archers, how many Palatine guards? 30, 18, 27, 18 veteran archers. So most of them are of a higher tier than Jimmy. You're going to be getting the archer's flag then we're gonna go for the extra damage if they were of lower tier if the majority was of lower tier I would have uh, given them the better accuracy hmm a lot of people of Kuzite has been released after battle Monshug made peace with somebody I think we'll want to sell those uh Okay, so 168 defenders. That's a good target. I'd like to go for it. Uh, Fandon of the Western M No. Uh, Fanda Fadon and several others of the Northern Empire were taken prisoner by the Western Empire. So it seems the armies are still on that side. Going ham on the Northern Empire. Hmm. Land is at war with Sturgia. That's okay, and we're still losing money. Oh boy. We're gonna have to take out a lot of soldiers. Ransom those. Oh, right, uh, whoop. All of those. Chain mail. Okay, so keep the this. Sell the others. Probably can sell a few horses too, right? We have 85 minimum palfreys. Damn. But that's not going to be enough. Okay, uh, let's sell the big boy horses. That's going to keep us going for a while. So what do I get for completing the main quest? I don't know. Fulfillment, I guess. So i this town. Fairgrounds is going to be done in 17... Fairgrounds level 2 is going to be done in 17 days. I don't know what's the reward of the main quest of the campaign. I guess just having a giant empire. Should have looked into acquiring um, workshops in Sargat, I think. Might have been a very, very good idea. Um, marketplace would have increased taxes. Prosperity change. Forum actually gives owners influence. Okay. Food production, militia production. So I guess the marketplace is going to give us extra money. If we are to get extra money. In the meantime, do I just get rid of those cat cataphracts? I just don't get cataphracts anymore. I'm not sure yet. This prosperity is only 1,500. That's very little for a city. Surplus food, goods from market, road tolls 0.2. So that's what's influencing the prosperity. Change. Okay. Uh, do we have... Alright, logistician and security. That's fine. 
It's very low for a city. Yeah, I didn't really have it. I only recently brought it back under loyalty control, so uh, maybe that's why it's not doing so hot. Uh, 4k to 5k is required for proper income from the settlements and profitable workshops. Great. Okay. I guess that's just a waiting game? And just keep on building stuff? What would help with prosperity? I guess the aqueducts would help with prosperity. Access to clean water provides room for growth with healthy citizens and a clean infrastructure. Yeah. We'll be building that next. Let's see, 6,000, 2,400, 2,400. Also, f extra food would be good. Build workshops on different wealthy cities. Yeah, I had workshops in Legetta. I'm at a war with them right now, so no more workshops in Legetta. Initially, I wanted to take Legetta, but that's not the case anymore. That's not an option. Well, maybe I will eventually take Legetta if we keep pushing. Village growth, settlement loyalty, militia, or housing for prosperity. That could work, too. I think we can afford... No. We're maintaining the loyalty here by simply being present, so let's wait here for a little bit of time. Oh, check the smithing real quick. Nothing interesting, nothing interesting. Amanon, force people, contracts, force people join the Western Empire. Okay. Let's leave. Do we break the army for now? Hmm. Hmm, not yet. Okay, let's check. Extra policies. We should in we should uh, enter all of the policies we need and now. I should look at all of them and then prioritize. Raising rights. Land tax. Mm-hmm. We're gonna need this one right now. Lord's Privy. Uh, tier 5 plus clans gain 0 0.5 influence per day. Influence cost inviting lower tier increased. Daily militia production is increased. Recruit replenish 20% faster. Tax income and settlements reduced. Nope. Law speakers. All clans whose leaders have high charm gain one influence per day. Okay. I'll be needing that because I have maximum charm. Marshals. Armies led by tier 5 plus require less influence. Ruler clan reduced. Nope. Royal privilege. For game the decisions, the influence cost of the ruler overriding the popular decision outcome is reduced. We'll, we'll need to get that one as well. Each notable yields 0 0.1 influence per day to the settlement owner's clan. Nope. The influence cost of proposing settlement annexation is reduced by 50% for the ruler clan. So this is me convincing other clans? The basement of the currency. Ruler clan gains 100 dinars per day for each town in the kingdom. Settlement loyalty is decreased one per day. That would be cool. State monopolies. Ruler clan gains 5% of the settlement as tax per town. But workshop production is decreased by 10%. Well, we don't really have workshops, so... That would be useful, too. Magistrates. Town security plus one. Tax reduced. Nope. Tax on tariffs is paid to the ruler clan. A higher trade penalty in towns. Settlement prosperity is decreased. Yeah, I don't think I can afford hitting the towns into in its prosperity. Towns held by the ruler clan gain one loyalty and one prosperity per day. Ooh. Towns held by non-ruler clans lose 0 0.3 loyalty per day. Okay, I'll be taking that, definitely. That's going to start the settlement going. Royal commissions. Influence cost of creating an army is reduced. Armies led by the ruler earn cohesion at 30% less cost. Good. Royal Guard. Ruler's party size is increased by 60. Non-ruling clans lose 0 0.2 influence per day. Yes, absolutely. War tax. Rulers gain 5% tax from all settlements, but they lose prosperity. Uh... 
Military achievements grant more influence. Troop wages are increased. Nope. Bailiffs. Town security is increased by one per day. Town with security greater than 60 yields one initial influence of the owner clan. But the tax is reduced. That might be interesting. Hunting rights, food production in towns and castles is increased. Citizenship. 0.5 loyalty per day to settlements that have the same culture as their owner clan. Settlement militia production is increased and minus 0.5 loyalty to... No, we're not going to be getting that. Forgiveness of debts. Forgiveness is big because you end up making more money anyway with it. Settlement loyalty is increased by 2 per day. Settlement production is reduced by 5. Okay. I'll be getting that. Tribunes of the people. Town taxes paid to the ruler are reduced, but the town loyalty is increased. And a trial by a jury. Settlement loyalty is increased by 0 0.5, but the settlement security is decreased, and the clan loses one influence per day. I kind of like that, because I can just offset the loss of influence with uh, just Immortal Charm and the others. Okay, but we need to gather more influence. Hello, Kung Pu. What's up? No, we're not actually uh, aiming for anything. Any? Uh, no. Let's 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 be honest. We're just going for maximum amount of money to the ruler. We are going for a dictatorship right now. We need money in our coffers, and once we have once we have a stable amount of cash and prosperity. Um, and maybe a clan on our side, that's when we're gonna try to take the uh, situation of the people into consideration. It's a bit of a dick move, but that's what I have to do because I because of my mistakes. 85 defenders. Okay, uh, go in front of the castle but no we have to prioritize to enter as many policies as possible to give us money and to reduce the strength of other clans within our faction if we do that and from 6k they went back to 6.5 they must have caught another castle or something Caravan of Gandarina. So before we invite other clans into our fold, we have to select all of the policies we want. Because if we have a new clan and we start uh, trying to enact a policy, they're going to get in the way. And that's going to be annoying. What's the plan now? Oh, wait to... St I have to raid. I'm gonna go raid, I think. I need money, so, uh... I'm gonna go raid lands. Or I move onwards to Garantor. The one prosperity is good one, and with Forgiveness it balances out the other clans losing 0.3 loyalty. Perfect. I'll get it once I have enough influence. We need the influence first. Uh, let's disband the army for now. Everybody goes on their own. Oh, Nathan has a hundred dudes. Akadan has a hundred dudes. This is fine. Let's try to go to Garantor a little bit. We're sitting on 175 soldiers. If things get dicey, we just call the boys back in and, uh, we form another army. For now, we need to chill. 3.7 speed, that's okay. I don't like this, but we will have to burn some villages. And now that they're not part of the army, I think that... What's the defense at Ortigia? 575. I wonder if, if it's possible to starve the enemy town out by disguising yourself in their city and buy all their food. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's possible. 
It would be hilarious if it was. Martha 122, 137. I think I should be able to take on Garantor with just my soldiers. Although it's going to be very bloody if I do it on my own. Alright, let's burn Garantor down a little bit. Recruit troops. Oh, it actually allows us to recruit troops. That's kind of cool. I guess those are very cheap. Nah, man, that's not cheap at all. What if I get in myself in some uh, fights against some lords? Thermiros, for example. How many of them are there in there? I don't know. Can't tell. Kelly declared war. Ah, oh, and Vlandians. I uh, wish I wish it was uh, Western Empire. Good. Thermaros is out. Let's go get him. More faster than him. Tricia is rich. Oh yes, it is. And Ammonon might be a good hit too. If you guys fight, if you both fight against me, I'm down. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Get over here. If you please. Okay. Archon Amanon. Good. There's something I'd like to discuss. He's not worth your loyalty. You're happy with your current liege. What's my relation with you? 60. Hmm. Poor Britannia, I hope uh, Tales World buff their troops a bit. <sighs> their troops are fine, I think. Uh, the problem is... I don't know. Does he have fiefs? He probably has fiefs. He has Horticia, so if I take Horticia, he's not really going to be that happy with his liege anymore. But we're at war and I have to fight. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Zalata's infantry. Fianchamp is only good for them, uh, but most of the time they get bullied by Vlandia. Mm -hmm. That's true. Go there. Jimmy. Arrows spread out. Infantry. From a square right here. Calves here. And let's see what's the situation. Everyone hold. They're assuming defensive positions. Let's go, boys. Are they? Yeah, they are, they are. Most played as the Kurgits after we reach their most uh, of their land got taken by orange color. Already. Everyone open fire. Take these guys out, please. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Everyone hold. Good, they fucked off. Oh, you played as Kuzait. Okay, uh, orange color, that's Azurai. Or yellow color, more like. Rather than orange. Let's approach. So, within... I want to say 100 meters, but it's probably going to be 150. Bowmen around here, infantry around here, infantry form the square, cavalry there, and everyone open fire. 
You mean oranges for Vlandia? They invade Batania too much? Oh, orange. No. Uh, Vlandia's red, not orange. But that's fine. It's okay. There. Let everyone look that way. Good. Holy hell, who are those archers shooting at? Full fire. Let's go. I have no idea where their soldiers are going. There. That should do. Everyone open fire. No worries, dude. The battle is not looking very well. We might run out of arrows before we can... Well, that's great, but... Jesus Christ, we think so many arrows, please. Cavalry... Actually, no. No, cavalry stay right here. Ow. Did I see the dude? Are they finally coming over? Good, everybody's shooting. Ouch. Come on, open fire in their positions. The hill does look dangerous, but their their archers are in front, so uh you managed to hit properly. Should be able to smush quite a few of them. Ah. Uh, infantry is getting hit a bit. All right, archers, walk up. Let's bring out the the spear. Nope. Alright, Jimmy's getting hits. Yep, right in my infantry, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. That's what's up. Infantry box looks nice. Yep, it's doing good. Perfection. Cavalry assume positions. Horse archers start charging. Cavalry, charge. Go, go, go. Ah, you bastards. Nice. Nice, nice. Good. Come on, box. Hold. Hold, box, hold. Infantry charge. Break the box. Break their faces. Slaughter them all. Zelata's down. Infantry buffs are down. But this is fine. Good shit. Good shit. Good. Everyone charge. Get them. <sighs> Can't believe the uh, infantry box is so powerful. So good. And yeah, yeah, the enemy infantry has a tendency of just surrounding the infantry box, showing their backs to the archers, and they just get shoot in the back. Hello, Varmiros. Ah. Uh... You fought well. You're free to go for now. We'd love to see Pike Infantry added. And... Increase my relations by 11. Okay, next time I get them. Next time I grab them. Okay, let's grab the highest tiers and we're gonna sell them.
we're not gonna recruit this time around. We're just gonna try to go for the money. Uh, who are you talking to about, Dex? I do have high tier soldiers because they're good. But yeah, pike infantry is a thing. Uh, you just grab them from. Uh, well, Empire has the Elite Manavliotan that acts as pike infantry. The equities is gonna cost more money. You fought well, every enemy always. Uh, I guess there are some dick cheese that tell me to kill them, or or uh, they'll kill me if they ever capture me or stuff like that. Actually, can I just grab everybody? Great. Okay, maybe not the Imperial Recruits. Thanks very much. Give me the Tier 3s. There we go. Pikemen are only viable for Vlandia. They're not that good for anything except uh, for bracing in the cavalry. Yeah, the normal infantry sword and board does that as well if you blob them up properly. Done. Ooh, what do we got here? Well, we're going to be grabbing everything because we need to sell the goods. Dented Luxury Lamellar. But I saw Cataphract Half Scale Barding. Yeah, man. That's some good stuff. Alright, grab everything. Give nothing back. It's really a sight to see. I'm, I'm sure it is, my man. I'm sure it is. Let's go back west. A courier with a marriage offer for Dexian. Etaria will join Maximus. And I will gain uh, 10 relations with Prianikos. That's a decent wife, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, we accept. Come on, Dex, should have taken the hat off. All right. I guess we're going to be calling Etaria to the squad. Soon I might be an uncle. Wait, I'm already an uncle, right? Yeah, with Yasna and Udris. Let's recall her. Good. Uh, we'll level up the boys. No trace skill wife. She's going to spend on random useless things. Now nah, she'll be fine. Okay, let's level up all of the boys. Oh, that's just 3k of level ups? That's great. Permadeath is enabled, yes. Permadeath is a thing. We have to go back to Sargoth, and I might have to travel to Jacqueline to sell all of the loot. That's gonna keep us going for a while. Let's go. Messos is raided by Mengus. It's fine. I can't cash those caravans. Bro, we'll back them up. We'll see. For now, things are looking good. Karsten, Akadan, and Nathan are uh, staying out of uh, out of harm's way. Tell uh, Toll Collector in Trektoria has been built. Good. Till Mega Mommy is ready. Yeah. And Allie has gained that uh, 250 Stewart. Minus 40% food consumption while your party is in a siege camp. 20% effectiveness to continuous projects. Or Master of Warcraft. 25% troop wages while your party is in a siege camp. Minus 5% food consumption of the town population in the governed settlement. I think um, minus five food consumption means extra prosperity gain. And the 20% effectiveness of continuous projects is kind of meh. So I'll go with uh, the second one, Master of Warcraft. And I do want to wait uh, for her to get a uh, price of loyalty. 
because that is going to be giving us the tax income increased by quite a bit. Done. Let's go, let's go. Everybody's traveling, doing good. Staying safe. Yes, riding 100, because I think it's a bug. There's currently a bug in the game where all newborn have uh, riding 100. I don't know. I just don't know. All right, Itaria is with us. Let's have a look at her skills. Uh, she's a decent fighter. Good bow skills. Is she of Vlandian culture? What happens when you grow too old? You die of old age. Good stuff. Decent trade. Decent tactics. Good uh, party leader. From the looks of her. Do I still have room for parties? Let's see. No, it's four out of four. Yes, exactly. You assume the control of the next in line. Let's check. Well, I can just verify. Yeah, of the Maximus. I see. She's a vampire culture. Okay. That's fine. You can cheat death once. Uh, yes, with a perk from uh, surgery, right? From uh, medicine. Okay, so in Sargot. Tavern, ransom all of those prisoners. Special weapon orders are right. Trade. 5k. 7. 19. There. Hello, Daily Smoker. Have you ever checked out Bannerlord Online? A massive MMO mod. No, I haven't checked it out. I did hear good and bad things about it. The bad is the fact that it's incredibly, incredibly grindy. Is it more of a role-playing mod? Role-playing server? Let's so... I should keep that. That one thing I should keep. I'd find their high morale, that's fine. Have you played it, Mr. Smoker? Spear wall. Sell the cows. Good. 20k in the bag. Thought that was impossible to do time pausing. Apparently it's not. I do have to do farming, yeah. I have to kill and deny my soldiers uh, experience. What you gonna do? Not really RP, but it's like a normal Bannerlord, but just with optional PvP and clans. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the MMO mod? Mm. Like a battlefield map? So just a giant map, no world map? Uh, that sounds interesting. Doesn't sound bad to me. Okay, let's go back. Actually, how's Sargot doing in terms of managed town? Uh, reserves are zero. Hmm. It's going to be done in nine days without the reserves. That's 50 construction. Uh, okay. And that way it's going to be done in two days. All right, give it another 1k. All right, good. What would be next on the list? It would definitely be aqueducts. Because we got to increase that prosperity. But this should solve um, the loyalty problem. Increase prosperity by one per day. I guess that could be helpful. Yep. 
Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, let's leave. Let's check on Tractori. We're now at 3k. Hey, we're supposed to decrease expenses, not increase them. Okay, uh, let's pass those Elite Cataphract... Nah, I feel like those Elite Cataphracts have a lower wage just because they're with us instead of with the other parties. Oh, and we have enough influence for the next thing. So, policies... Let's see... Programness, uh, settlement loyalty is increased by two per day. Yeah, let's go with that. Trial by jury. No. Which we find my kingdom has the highest prosperity? I don't know. We'll have to look. So Sargod has 1,500, Trectory is 956, and Veron is 679. Not the best. Okay, so let's see what else. No, nope, I actually need to wait until I get some more influence. What's Nathan doing? Just chilling over in Veron. Eteria is now pregnant. Man! Dex, you sly dog. Man of action right there, ladies and gentlemen. Man of action. Yeah. A little bit too quick? Nah, son. He's a potent boy. Babies all over the kingdom? Yeah, 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 we have a few. Family of ten with, uh, one, two, three, four, and I think, um... Rain is pregnant as well. Five? I think. Oh, and uh, I think Para might be pregnant too. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. It literally says over there. Yes, Pregers. Etaria is Pringles. And Perez Pringles. So three kids coming to ride up. Caravan of Ulbesos. I would like to attack you. I would like to catch you and to defeat you. But you are a fast boy. And fast boys are fast. But, ooh, we have some uh, lords over here. Lysica and Milos. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Should be able to catch them. And Amanon again. Okay. And Hakir. Quite the activity. Are they preparing a army to march on me? They're going for noble retinues, huh? Ooh, that's a bit dangerous. Let's see if I can catch Amanon with his pants down. Uh, I should be able to win if even if all of those guys join the fray. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I might be in trouble now. With you two? Really? They're running away from me? Both of them? Together, I thought they'd be capable of taking me on. Alright, let's take Ammon on again. I should be able to catch. Yep, yep. Fairgrounds in Sarvon have been built. Perfect. Those are low tier guys. We meet like th Indeed, Amanon. Your leash is a dick bag. Okay. We're at war then. Attack. Now, if I release him after the battle. <laughs> That doesn't mean that uh, my brother will as well. 
Right, Utaria and Karsten. Nice, they're listening to me. That's great. 26. All right, so... Who do we got? Alia? Uh, set up Karsten as the... Melee Cav. Whew, that's a lot of infantry. Okay, uh, we're gonna do it like this. Second infantry squad, give me a 50%. Good. Hello, Ixwin. Do you think I can invade a small village with 24 warriors, and will I go to war with them if you take the village? You can't take a village. You have to take the castle connected to the village. You might be able to raid it, but you can't conquer it. Ixwin. Welcome to the inn. He doesn't get the chance to talk to the Lord? Ah, oh, okay, then maybe he's just gonna walk away. Do player characters get the profit if they join the rank of your companion, Captain? The skills? I hope so. I really hope that my stats get increased. Okay, and I need somebody... Maybe set up Itaria? Yeah. Set up Itaria as the secondary... Oh, no, no. Commander is mounted. That's not gonna work. If you raid their village, you will be declared, um, you will be declared upon by the faction. You will be hostile with the faction. So it's gonna happen. It's gonna be bad. So get ready to be at war with said faction. I mean, you could just wage guerrilla warfare against them. That's fine. That's doable. No, I don't think you can. Maybe with 24 soldiers you can evade their troops. That's doable. Okay, so the plan would be... Bup. Bup. With archers right here in the middle. There. No, nobody has declared war on me since I went independent. So all's good for now. We'll do something like this. So the reason why I'm um, dividing the infantry in two is because... I want the archers to have a clean, clean shot upon the enemy, and as they're charging, they're going to try to uh, hug two shield the boxes and that's just going to give archers more targets to hit in the back this was warband you to be effed probably all right let's do it like that for now oh i need some uh i need a infantry captain but i don't know don't have anybody else on foot it's fine We'll just run it like this. Did it declare war immediately? Probably. Oh, everybody hold fire. Everybody follow. Infantry up. Five up. Let's go, boys. Archers right here. Infantry over there. Other infantry over there. Cavalry over there. There. And then everyone... And everyone face that way. Everyone open fire. Come on, boys. Infantry move a little bit forward. Wait for the hit. Wait for them to die. Perfect. Smushed, and now just uh, let the boys fire. Let the boys do the deed. Cavalry's waiting in, on the flanks to charge upon the enemy's booty cheeks as soon as they expose them. 
Wasn't there supposed to be another force here? Alright, infantry's coming in. Remember in Warband, store up army to 500 and form your own kingdom, then got reality checked by three factions at once, joint army of 4,000? Pretty much. Let's see, do they engage the archers? Holy hell, they engage the archers! That's so good. Uh... What's the infantry doing? <laughs> Okay, gotta rethink that strategy. <laughs> Glorious. But yeah, I ordered the cavalry to attack their archers. That worked nicely. Just went straight through the middle. I completely ignored the infantry. Maybe two groups of infantry is not that good of an idea. After all, I think I need to put them closer to each other. Hey, Amy, what's up? Uh, I think I have to take you as prisoner. Yeah. Uh, grab everything. Can you attack caravans? No, you're still gonna get into war. You're still gonna war it up. There. But again, with just 24 soldiers, you should be fast enough to not get caught. You can safely wage war. Well, safely is a relative word. But you can wage war on a faction and keep on harassing them while maintaining your distance. It should be fine. But you also have the option of safe scumming, as in you try, you save, you try something, you reload. Now you don't even need to start a new one, you can just, uh, safe scum. You have to watch for uh, mercs popping out of town? Yes, you do. So I wonder where can I plant my prisoner so he would have never escape ever. I guess it's, it would be safer in one of the uh, castles, right? No. Save and then attack. You have it the other way around, my man. Lord's Hall? Oh, no, no, no. Didn't want to go to the Lord's Hall. Wanted to go to the keep. Go to the dungeon. Manage prisoners. Alright, put Ammonon in here. I don't think I can see a percentage, or escape percentage. When I see my build? Sure. My build is the following. I am the big-brained boy. With a little bit of skill in one hand, and just, just a little bit of skill. Bit of skill. That's it. And I plan on putting uh, two more... F Actually, I don't even know if I should put two more focus points into roguery. Thinking of maybe just going down the engineering route. This act is doing anything. Tactics does stuff in auto-resolve. That's where tactics comes in. I'm tempted to go for scouting because I think there's one that stops uh, prisoners from escaping... Which one is it, I wonder? Ranger, tracker, patrols? No. Rumor network. Ah, keen sight. Minus 50% chance of prisoners' lords escaping from your party. That would be good. That'd be very good, but I don't think I have the cunning necessary to reach those levels. And my next attribute point should be at 28, so it's going to be a while until I can get that cunning for. Uh, yes, there is. Uh, keen Sight in combination with another one. So if you manually do any fight, you could avoid tactics altogether? Yeah, correct. 
But defensive auto resolves are very... Defensive siege auto resolves are very much stacked in your favor. You're going to have a better result auto resolving than manually fighting. You can defeat armies four times your size. Let's go to Sargod. Okay. Benny Zilal have joined the Batanians. Our expenses went down a little bit, which is great. With 225 tactics, is basically 10 to 1. Slowly getting there. 19k... Alright, let's get some money rocking. Uh, Ranger arrows. Uh huh. 12k. Do we have any old horses that need selling? No. Hogs go. That's a lot of grain. Uh, let's sell some of that grain. Good, and we'll probably need to grab ourselves some food. I'm gonna buy some food from somewhere else. One of buying them Gucci shoes in Bangalore too. I don't think. If I mouse over that, I don't think it's uh, the wife that's uh, taking out the expenses. It's recruitment expense and garrison and party expense. I guess. Wife, the wife's expenses could be in the garrison or party expense, maybe. Ooh, policies is giving us 15. That's not much. All right, let's go to Jacqueline. I'll want to buy some food from there. Invest. We even participated in the tournament. And then we're going to go back to Artesia and just hunt for some more lords. We'll bring them down. Alright, let's fight for the ambassador. I'll skip this time around, then just fight my own fights. Big brained lady! I'm going to get shot by that crossbow. If I'm not careful. Yep, there it is. Got him. Uh, I need to get in the way so I can intercept those bolts. Not intercepting those bolts, that's for sure. Jesus Christ, the dude's not even firing at me. My dude. There. Swordsman was smacked. Skip, skip. Got your neck. That'll do. We are red team. Ouch. God damn it, Borcha. I'm happy to see that you're leveled up, though. Nice. Good hit. Ah, overshot it. Interesting. Oh, no. Moving around. Let's... Damn. Do it like that. Oh, boy. Okay, Hitaria is down. Forty-one and down. Good job, Zalata. I guess I'm going to be fighting Zalata in the next match, next round. Yeah, going to be fighting her in the finals. Hello, Mr. Vladimir Rossbowman. Let's dukey fresh it up. I've noticed that crossbowmen have a decent amount of melee. I wonder if it's... V nah, nah, it's not viable. I already came... I already thought about that idea. While they're shooting with their crossbows, they're going to be vulnerable to retaliation. 
I mean, well, technically I can tell them to hold fire and then as soon as the enemy gets close, I just tell them to open fire and they just release a volley of, of bolts upon the enemy, which is not really going to be doing much now that I'm thinking about it. Got him. And only a part of them will shoot because they're most likely going to be in a box formation. And really telling them to, to loosen up. There we go. No betting. I think we're at a point where it doesn't matter if we bet on ourselves anymore. Plus, I still don't have the confidence that I'm going to be winning all of them. Case in point. At this point, yeah, every penny does count. There it is. Got her. Was your Liechtenstein? Did Austria's army keep accidentally invading your land? Uh, no. No, we haven't really been bothered that much. We managed to take one of their castles. We seem to be doing okay for now. I'm selling that ambassador. Right, uh, some food would be great. Let's grab some olives. Not really gonna be holding us much. That'll do. Okay, let's leave and go back east. What's Karsten doing? Karsten? Are you mad? He gained a level from what? Getting his ass beat? Oh, Karsten, my boy. My sweet summer child. Uh, give yourself some cunning and some tactics. I think that's gonna be in order. Manage the town, how you boys doing? Actually increasing loyalty now, that's amazing. So even if I'm not here, loyalty is going up. That's great. Now that aqueduct is going to take quite a while to... <sighs> no, I can't afford uh, entering money into the reserves. I'll have to fend for their own for now. Let's check the smith. Ah, I forgot to check the smith back in um, in the village of the west. Hey, nice two-handed weapon. That's gonna that's gonna be some cash. Let's go. Uh, two, three, three point seven swing damage. Damn, so good. And I do have the materials. Okay, let's go for it. Good. Handle and broad. Then we decrease size of these. Decrease size of that. Forge and the plant is satisfied. We don't get much, but we do gain three skill points in smithing. Hmm. That's fine for now. I don't think I have to worry. Oh, right. Uh, somebody leveled up. Borcha. Good job, dude. Final skill point in smithing. Beautiful. From here on out, Borcha will get to be an infantry captain, I wonder? 
He does have a lot of athletics. It might not be such a bad idea of making him a secondary infantry captain. But that means I have to take off his uh, short bow. Yes, uh, Borcha is one of the random names a companion can get. Oh, please. I hate this thing. <laughs> okay. I don't think he's the only one who leveled up. I think Jimmy leveled up. Yes, Jimmy leveled up as well. Sitting at 188. Archery level. Looking good. Hmm. Can't give him any extra bow. Can give him extra athletics. That could be fine. Your main scout and warman. That should be Grandpa Borcha then. I guess so. That means yours is uh, Borcha Jr. Or Borcha Nephew or something. Okay, let's... Yeah, we'll slap some extra athletics. A bit of the Superman hair, I guess. The board just sounds like a Russian opera singer. I don't know. Not exactly sure what's the origin of the name Borcha. Might be Turkish. Might be Polish. Don't know. I guess you guys can Google it. Uh, so yeah. Definitely going to be putting it, uh, points into athletics, and then afterwards, we'll see. I'll probably increase his melee stats. I mean, if he can provide some melee stats for the archers so to better defend themselves, that'd be good. Yeah, but you know who does, DMD? Google. Well, the internet. A search engine. One level up. We'll take it. Nathan Akadan and Karsten's coming back. All right, let's go intercept Karsten. Well, no. Verify how Tractori's doing, see what it's currently building, and then we're going to go intercept Karsten. Hopefully he doesn't get attacked. Another 3k lost. Yeah, I'm kind of just sustaining our current forces right now. Alia gained more steward. Alright, where's well, the castle? What do we got here? 5k and festivals and games. We are at a hundred loyalty with the place. Damn. Level three, level three. Fairgrounds for increased loyalty. I think that's fine. Hey Spec, how you doing, man? Increase garrison capacity walls. Experience. Let's go for um Extra food production. What happened, dude? What's up? Let's go southeast. And check on uh, Carson over there. Ooh, he's running after a run. Let's see if we can intercept him. There it is. Got him off. And got him. Oh, Karsten. Uh, Otter resolve should be fine. Karsten does lose three dudes. Nekotia recruit and a footman. I am sorry for your loss, Spectre. My condolences, my dude. That is indeed terrible. It is fucked up a day. I give up. I give up. Call back your dogs. There. I'm grabbing those prisoners. And I'm going to be grabbing all of the whips. 
And now I'm realizing that I still didn't check Dexian's gear. Uh-huh, yeah, there's the problem. Given that balance hunting bow and a large bag of arrows. If there's anything we can do, my man, let us know. You know, sometimes you just need somebody to talk to. Let us know or let me know, okay? You know, off stream or on stream, wherever you want. Hmm. Wish I had a... Well, I guess Sargat is fine, but I wish I had a city closer to the front line. Maybe I should get Rhodesia. Yeah, someday. Someday we'll get that. So medicine is now 200. What do we got? We got clean infrastructure, which is for governors. A plus one prosperity bonus from civilian projects. Plus 30% uh, recovery rate from raids and villages bound to the government settlement. Okay. And then Physician of the People, plus one loyalty per day in the Governed Settlement, and as a Surgeon, 30% chance to recover from lethal wounds for Tier 1 and Tier 2 soldiers. Alright, yeah, let's go Physician of the People. <sighs> Pardon. I travel towards Sargot. I'm still surprised they haven't attacked Varon. Or anything for that matter. They're at war with Batania, and, well, they're at war with Batania, so that's, I guess, putting a stop to it. At least for now. Uh, let's check what other policies we can integrate. Try by tree. Let's see, settlement loyalty is increased. Transmit's influence. That's fine for now. Town, uh, town taxes paid to the ruler are reduced. Nope. Citizenship. 0 0.5 loyalty per day to the settlement that have the same culture. No. Hunting rights. Food production in towns and castles is increased. And town loyalty is decreased. Maybe? Bailiffs. Tax from towns is reduced. Military coronet. Troop wages are increased. Nope. War tax. Ruler gains 5% tax. Well, they lose settlements, and we can't lose settlements. Ruler's party size is increased. Non-ruling clans lose influence. We'll take that. The, 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 the Imperium of Man. Uh, we'll start authorizing the ruler to have a large private army imperium of man without the that should do it let's see royal commissions the influence cost of creating armies reduced armies led by the ruler armies led by non-ruler nobles increase uh cost more we'll, we'll need that Imperial Towns. Towns held by the ruler clan gain loyalty and prosperity per day. Good. Got that. Done. That means Sargot should be growing- well, actually, all of our fiefs should be- or, well, just Sargot should be growing in prosperity now. One point five. Imperial Towns plus one. Good. trade and yeah there's enough money here see that the vassals will enact against the policies like royal commissions uh yeah but i'm going to try to make it as hard as possible for them to gain the influ to maintain the influence to uh enact against those policies i'm even going to be giving me giving myself a strength to veto stuff so hopefully, I'll be fine. I'll, I guess, utilize... I'll equip the Dragon Banner myself. Just have it on hand. Just have it equipped, you know, for, for role-playing sake 
Oh, right. I guess there should be some uh, prisoners. Yeah. Ransom them. Then we select Borcha. And, yeah, throwing axes, then that two handed axe should be nice. Good. Seems like nobody wants to join the new empire. Uh, nobody's offering yet, but I am going to try to talk with uh, clans of the Western Empire after I take their fiefs and stuff. We'll see how it's going to go. Now the two-handed axe. It's not going to be enough. I need some hardwood. Are there any blacksmith hammers here? No, not blacksmith hammers. Um, wooden hammers. Uh, pitchforks? It's a hoe. I wonder if the hoe can give me the, the wood. Make a companion to a clan leader for some time, maybe? Ah, uh, not yet. There's no need for that yet. Okay, not the hoe. The pitchfork. Good. Smelt. Select. Zelada. Perfect. There. And then Borcha Forge. Two-handed. Plant is dissatisfied, but we're still... <laughs> we're still unlocking stuff, so eventually we're gonna get the big boy money for that. Let's leave and go back towards Karsten and see what he's doing. He seems to be the only one who's actively patrolling enemy territory. Durhurt of the Vanians declared war on us. We are dead. <laughs> we are dead. And if we were to make peace with uh, Western Empire... Oh, we would receive a tribute. Huh. So there's zero support for that. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so back to Sargat we go. They'll probably attack Veron Castle. I need to take... Uh, we probably need to gather up the boys. Yes. So, kingdom, armies, great army, bring in the boys. Yeah, it's going to be a bit... It, it, it would be a little bit of a bitch. Pursuing peace is the best option? I agree. I'm literally waiting for uh, influence so I can pursue peace. Have you gone down your Lord friend list and attempted to recruit them? No. How do I do that? I practically go to write my name. Then I select Hackard. I mean, I have to meet Heckard somehow. That's gonna be a while. So yeah, mob boys need to uh, gather up. And they'll probably go for Sargod. If I were... If I were them, I would go for Sargod. Who support do you need when you're the only one in the kingdom? I, I understand that, Theron. It's not about the support, it's about the influence cost. That I don't have. I'm okay. I'm okay. You see? Not enough influence. I click, but button no go. And I am all, all for peace with the Western Empire, and Varen is besieged. By the Sporios' army of the Western Empire. Great. Ah, I just need some influence. Hmm? A career with a ransom offer to free Amanon. They offer you zero gold. Well, I declined then. What do you mean? Nathan, are you inside there? Okay, get those guys in here. Okay, so I think that's the Sporios of the Western Empire. Let's see what are the numbers looking like. 800! Sweet Jesus! 
800 against 231. If we get in there, we win. Nathan's gaining engineering points. Of course he is. The only problem is after I win that, can we still fight the rest? Do I go for it? Hmm. What am I looking at? Imperial recruits 144, Imperial archers 137, Imperial infantrymen 88. So, uh, a quarter. Yeah, more than a quarter of that army is mostly recruits. But so are we, right? Well, I have a decent army. No, we do have 40, uh, 40 recruits. 55. Some tier 2 Imperial archers. It's not half of them, no. Let's not uh, get ahead of ourselves. If I break in to help the defenders... I would lose up to 51 troops. Hmm. Settlement food. Settlements. Um, it's going to run out of food in 13 days, so maybe you can starve them out. And then these guys. I think I have to risk this. I don't think I can gather up. Let's wait a sec. Let's just wait it out a little bit. The only thing I'm worried about is going to be uh, Vlandia coming in with their own forces. Is Vlandia at war with anybody else right now? War with Batania, so they might be busy for a while. So, we have uh, two chances here. Well, sorry, two scenarios. One scenario is we wait for 75 influence and try to gain a peace with the Western Empire. Second scenario, um, the siege battle starts and we go in there and uh, break through and help defend Baron Castle. That's going to be the plan. Come on, influence. Oh, that's not a lot. <laughs> nah, that's, that's not going to be enough. Mm -mm. We can't really afford Nathan dying, either. Okay, let's break through and uh, defend. I guess. Go ahead with that. We lose 7 infantry, 12 ranged, and 2 cavalry. And other armies lose 30 soldiers. Stop. We do have move to reserve. Wait. We don't want to cancel anything. Blisters are effective against enemy ranged weapons. And catapults are effective against enemy siege engines as well as walls. We'll need some ballistas. But I'm under the impression that you can use the catapults to fire on the engines as well. Request parlay. No. I'm not sure what I've ordered to take off. Aha. Uh -huh. Must have cancelled something. Okay, whatever. We'll receive a big hit soon. Okay, why are we not attacking the ram? I feel like we should be attacking the ram. Why are we not attacking the ram? Guys. Nixon's intergendering is going up. That's great. My wife has given birth to a healthy baby. 
Nice. Carmenette has been born. Huh. Another girl. Uh, why am I not seeing the ballista? Why am I not seeing the other catapult? Why am I not attacking? Attack, right click, left click. If I try the ambush function. No, what's the ambush function? Oh my god. What have I done? Listen up! Are we riding out to attack? To finish all of their preparations? Okay. No, oh, this is stupid. Let's take out those archers, I guess. Everybody do your own thing, I guess. Carson's down. But no, I'm referring to the fact that our uh, siege engines should open fire. That's what I was referring to. Yeah, this is not looking good for us. Okay. So that happened. We still have 553. We'll win the auto-resolve. Offensive siege engines has range. They only target another offensive siege engine. Rams and towers is very far. Ah, okay. So they keep the uh, siege engines safe. So are we currently bombarding them? Oh, there it is. Good. Destroy that. Then done. I wish there would be a repair option. Come on, make it go boom. Oh no. Send. So archers gain a major bonus. Alright, send the troops. Let's do it. The reason ambush is there is to destroy the ram and tower, not to engage the army. The enemy will slowly send people to protect the ram and tower. Uh huh. Okay. Satellite didn't really work in my favor. Should be an easy one, yeah. I just hope there's not too many casualties. Nine, seven, three for me. Easy win, a lot of experience, a lot of prisoners maybe. Should be an easy declare peace afterwards. I'm not even sure if I should tell them. No, I think I should release all of them. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, now that we are already have equalized the numbers. Hmm. And now we have the advantage. Seven dudes lost. The others are losing a lot of troops. Hopefully we can we can replicate this at Sargot. I was under the impression that you can bombard the enemy during a siege. Yeah, you know, just throw stuff at, at them. For a while, while they're prepping. Guess I was wrong. 100 lost. There we go. Let's 
let's see. No more coffee. Yeah, that's a bit sad. Welp, they're almost toasty McDonion rings. I'm about to get a lot of prisoners that are going to be re... <laughs> um, that are going to be... Uh, Re-increasing? No, healing our numbers, I guess. We've received a nice number of influence for that. Plunder 14k. Nice. So, Akios, you're free to go. Nisporion, you're free to go. Oh, that's it? Okay. I should... Be. It's, it's going to try to grab all of the prisoners from top to bottom, so I'm going to manually grab some of the higher tier stuff. Solari, Outrider, Legionnaire, Cataphract, Sword Sister. The garrison took other prisoners, that's perfectly fine by me. Outriders, Imperial Veterans, the Palatine Guard, Hired Pike. Good and good. We take out one of the Sword Sisters, it's fine. Done. And then we get paid. Lordly Splint Boots. Legendary stuff. Okay, I think I should check to see if anybody needs anything. She's fine. Dexian. Oh, absolutely, I'm going to be taking all that and selling it for money. I just want to see if uh, some of my companions need anything out of here. Spider Blade, she needs a ranged weapon. Take all is right, absolutely. I was just curious for some of the armor. Those lordly split boots, for example. But I think nah, it's, it's going to be much more worth it to just grab everything and sell. Return to Theron. And now, before we do anything else, Kingdom, Diplomacy, Western Empire. And now we're going to be receiving 420 tribute per day in Act. Good. Now that's done. Uh, no siege yet. There are a bunch of my men hurt. We're going to wait at the castle and heal up. We have 41 injured dudes. Could they release the Aminon? Why? That's a lot of prisoners. They were probably going to be uh, selling for money. Okay, uh, Kingdom Army. Manage. Done. Everybody enlisted, perfect. We'll wait here and heal up. And Para has given birth to a help the baby. Dranga has been born. So, Carbonet. Wait, why are those, uh, highlighted? Calculating two. Will you control your emotions for the sake of your long-term interests? An honorable two. Okay. Interesting. Don't know what's up with that, but interesting. Alright, let's check stats. Oh, I almost leveled up. Level 2 trade, they have a range of minus 2 to 2. Okay. Does it do anything? I don't I don't think they even work. 
I have evil kids? Hell yeah. Just like their papa. <laughs> Brings a goddamn tear to my eye. Nice and balanced, as all things should be. <laughs> okay, let's uh, wait to heal up the boys. Restful companions with their own party won't raid villages, for example. Oh, nice. That's very cool. Maybe it indicates their uh, in map behavior. Yeah, Venture Loquist kind of confirmed that. All right, who 54 dudes to level up. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Don't care about that guy. That one guy, though. That one guy won't be getting my stuff. All right, so we're fully healed now. Good. 344 strong apes together strong and I'll probably sell some of those prisoners and recruit others though about the rest companion with valor probably more likely to engage with enemy or more likely to create a uh, army maybe wait a second all right, so where do I find out how many injured do we got? I can't. Among a few other things, Merciful won't devastate cities if they siege them down. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I should get some Merciful boys in. Companions can't create armies until you unite them. I know, until you make them, until they create their own clan. I understand that. Manage garrison. Still have a lot of boys here. My meat and taters is over here at Tractore. Let's go. Uh, how's Usank doing? 214 defenders. That's not much. I could grab that. Let's go towards Sargot for now. So what do we got? We got Usung. My relation with Dexit has increased. Okay. We got Talavel. Got Lanok Han that's being besieged. Usung Karas. Then it'd be Draculin. Talavel would be a good border castle. And I need satellites around Sargot. The problem is, if I do take it now, it's going to be difficult for me to hold them because I don't have a clan to keep to control those castles, and I'm currently paying expenses for them. Well, settlement income is going up. Caravan and party income. I have a caravan? That shouldn't be the case. But I should get an influx of cash over here at Sargot. So, how are the uh, numbers on the Vlandian side looking? 8k! Holy! <laughs> Me heart! My heart! Yeah, balanced defensive. <laughs> oh lord. You know, just the casual 8k soldiers? Just biz cash. Just cash. Alright, give me 30k. Uh, let's join the tournament. Fight for judgment. I prefer to have the crossbow, I'm not gonna lie. Are they firing towards me? Yes, they are. Oh boy! Oh, right, I am red. Let's take out that guy. Now we're gonna go for the higher crossbow. There. 
In each case, combine soldiers on field and garrison. You can have 1,000 on field and 7,000 garrison. Yeah, well, even if they have half in garrison, half on the field, that's still quite a bit. If all uh, 3,500 would decide to uh, siege Sargat, I don't think I can hold. I'll skip round. Another 4v4. Garrison's generally have more. Yeah, but I like to make cold calculations. I like to make... Uh, to give, you know, the enemy a little bit of an advantage. Ouch. Oof, 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 oof. In numbers, just to play it safe. Alfian village, yeah. If I could garrison them in the city, that would be kind of amazing. Good, the ladder's down. Now just Borcha remains. You guys shoot Borcha if I keep him still? I kind of don't want to get a Batanian Fief. Just because... Uh, that would give Batania a reason to declare war on me, and that would not be fun. I think Asurai might consider Sargat to be theirs, so uh, they might declare war on me as well. Okay. Alright, Borchu Borch. What? You saw me being successful with the spear, so you decided, I can do that too. I can do this all day. Ouch. Okay, yeah, maybe he does have... Maybe he can do it. He does have the advantage. All right, uh, skippy skip, or not, gotta fight the veteran outrider. Let's see. Come on. Got him. One more fart in his general direction and he should fall. There we go. As long as you do not own Garantor Castle, you'll be fine most of the time. Man, and I wanted to aim for Garantor. Just learned from the Reddit, they said your character can gain, lose weight and muscle according to your playstyle too. Isn't that just coping? Isn't that just imagination? Yeah, Astra has a preference of Idor, Tiju, or Sargat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna have to run. Getting a high prosperity city would be great for you. No, really? Would it? I definitely would like to go for Otegia, that's for sure. But I'm okay with getting Jaculin too, or uh, Cross. Yeah? That's awesome. So, how can you. Get fat. How can you get get mega fat in this game? Just don't fight and uh, have a, a large variety of food in your inventory. The reason why Asura and Vlandia go to war most of the time is because of Garantor. That's great. Looking forward to that. It's just the on-foot battle. Just like the simulations. Ah. Sweet Jesus, man. Just sit still in the settlement for a while? Oh, okay. So just be a lazy F. Got it. Oh, now he's going to be a master swordsman? Jeez. There it is. Oh, no. Got him. 
I must ingest the butter. The butter must be inside me. I need the butter. I must consume the butter. I must be the butter. Okay, ha, uh, two more tournaments and I'll be in the lead and I'm going to be gaining some extra renown for the clan. If you move around on the map on foot, you lose weight and muscle. Oh, okay. So, am I a big burly man right now? I don't know. Fighting increases your build. Oh, that means I shouldn't be a big burly man. You're, I know you were referring to the muscle. Don't worry, Kung Poo. <sighs> Still sounds faking gay. Still don't believe it. I need to see it with my own eyes. Okay. Things are looking fine. I guess I'll have to move around until uh, the money over in Sargot comes back. And it's snowing. Hmm. Autumn 20. Well, I'm not gonna lie, uh, battle during winter against Vlandia is good, because they mostly, in theory, have cavalry. Well, even if they do show you the game code, that doesn't mean it's active. You know, it might be a game code that's just in there and it's meant to be used later on. There's a lot of broken things in Manorlord. Never knew Terra uh, Lazarus will put some details about it. Uh, put something so detailed. It's amazing that they did. I just hope they also get to activate it. Use it. Apply it. Give it to me. Okay, let's scout out 300 in Talaval, so that's going to be a little bit difficult to take. Let's check Abcomer. 450. Whoo That's a lot of boys. That's a lot of dudes and dudettes. 216. And Gantor is under siege by somebody. That's not my problem. Wonder what's the garrison over at Karas. Uh, same can be said, they did not tell us that there is an advanced skill for combat where you can chamber and attack and get a free hit on your opponent, very difficult to master. I mean, yeah, that was uh, in Warband as well. Loyalty is zero, though? Where, Therun? Loyalty is zero where? Oh, over in Abcomer? Yeah, it doesn't matter in Abcomer that the loyalty is zero. Does it do anything? Do they have a decrease in morale or something? I think the only thing is that the it's not producing gold and money. Oh, well, sorry, no. Gold and um they can't increase the I don't know. I have no idea what loyalty zero does. For a castle. I think you guys told me once, but I forgot. Chamber attack is so good, yeah, if only you could use it. You could only you could master it. Ortesia's under siege. Okay. I need to verify. Western Empire, who are you? Oh, Aserai. Oh, Aserai. The Western Empire is still at war with me? No. We are at peace with them. Weird. Okay, Veron Castle. Let's try to find a lord for Veron Castle. So, Veron was po Apios? Clans. Let's see, maybe I maybe I can recognize the name of the clans. Active Empire. Was it Maniolis? Yes, Vipon. Okay, Vipon, do you have any fiefs? Maniolis. They do have Herzogea Castle. 
Do I think they nerfed it from Warband to make it harder? I remember when AI chambered your land scouting in the past. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Okay, Vippy. So you have Herzoge Castle. Where is this Herzoge? Herzoge, east of Legeta. If we were to take it, that would be just easy pickings. I wouldn't be able to ride out there to save it. And since they have a fief, that means that they're not going to be joining us. Well, wait. Let's check, uh... Yeah, let's check the let's check the Western Empire and see if they have a clan, a fiefless clan. Let's go with that. So Kingdom, Western Empire. Forest people are mercenaries, Karakurjits, Lake Rats, Goldabroda, Legion of the Betrayed, Gilmans are all mercenaries. How do they have so many mercenaries? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. A Palladios. They have Aristochorus. Manuel is Sasartoge, Karenios, Gersagos, Sorados has Garantor, Lonalion has Rote and Remtoil, Elichis has Amitatis, Dionikos has Legeta, Varos has Ortigia. Okay. And I have good relations with Amanon. If he loses Ortigia, he might come to my side. And I'm promise, I promise I'm giving him uh, Ver Veron Castle. Interesting. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Sneaky. Yes, yes. <laughs> and that would... I would no longer have to pay for the uh, garrison of said castle. And we should be Gucci. Should be fine. Should be better. Let's see um, if there's anything similar happening in Vlandia. So, N, Kingdom, Vlandia. Uh, they that has stuff. They have, they do have a lot of land. Hongard, Ostakan, Oxhall, the Valent Rovolt. The Gunrik Turby. The Cortan, Lanok, Usang, who they have a lot of stuff. The Aramang have Jacqueline. Oh, so if I take Jacqueline, the Aramang might come to Well, they we don't really have a lot of relations with them. Garantor, uh the Garantor Castle Lord is also an option since he's also being besieged. I can't really give him anything. So hold. I mean, I guess I could give in Tractore. Hello, Dave. What's up? They tear. And they Maroc is the leading faction. Okay. Who has Karas? The Gundrik? No. Is it the Falcon? Oh, it might be. The Merok has a Karas. I see. Where should you get your cavalry from? Um, for melee cavalry, the strongest is the Vlandian cavalry. For horse archers, is it's the uh, it's Kuzait. For second best cavalry, I guess. What do you guys think? Is Asari second best or the Empire second best? Don't even think about Botania and uh, Sturgia. They don't have good calves. Of course, Noble Line. Fast Asarai is good. Treasure Recruiter Clan from Botania. Ooh, yes, they should have a lot of uh, leftover soldiers. Sorry, uh, leftover clans. Imperial armor better and l better armor and lasts longer. Yeah, but they don't keep their shield up. So they are more uh, prone to being shot, even though they have a shield. Okay, uh, let's check Batania. You want a cavalry without having to max someone out? Is Landia still good? Without having to max someone out? I would still go uh, Vlandia, then they, they're decent. But 
if you really want the ba the most bang for your buck, you want to max them out. Or just stay away from cavalry in the meantime. You can also just go with uh, mounted archers. Their accuracy is not that good, but if you hold them in position, their accuracy increases dramatically. In my experience, Asrai Ferris died a lot more compared to the elite cavalry. Uh, dead equals can kill people. That's true. Okay. Aedis can. Aedis clan. They have Sionan. Embers of the Lane, we don't care. Benny Zilal, we don't care. Fen Karnath. Oh, Fen Karnath is done, dudes. Land strength 60. I, these dudes are gone. Kelly got you killed? You got a mercenary offer? Okay. Tell us your plight to Dave. Fen Ingal. Now there's something a little bit better. Hardware, those. Relation is not that good. Bengyal, Penkanok. Then Painwreck. And Lucian is a little bit better. Then Morkar with Prindor. Dude, Fen Morkar with 412. Yeah, we want to talk with Prindor. Fen Uvain. And Fen. Durngil. No, 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 Morkar. We want this guy. He was your leader? Okay. Uh, same can be said with Blandy and Banner Knights. They're effective killers, but it has paper armor compared to the elite cataphracts. Hmm. Uh, Batania is on its last foot. They're being smushed by Vlandia. Well, they're not really Arabs, they're Asarai, Dave. This is a fictional universe. They're based off of real factions, but so. Okay, where's Prindor? Last seen near Diango... Dianthog Mail. Dianthog Mail, okay. A village, right? Ah, uh, Dave, thank you for becoming a follower. Welcome to Hit Point Inn. I can't ride out to that location. At least not yet. And yeah, Garantor is being besieged, Ortizia is being besieged. Things are looking good. And if I take Jacqueline, there's another clan that's up for grabs. The ones who are controlling Jacqueline. But I need to find an owner for Veron, so I need to talk with Prindor. Eight point three K Calatild. Can't catch him. You hate having a sixty five percent keyboard. Every time you want to move your troops you need to press function key while also switching the WASD with arrow keys. You have to change them constantly. So 65% keyboard means it's just a smaller, it's a mini keyboard? Is that what you're saying? And yeah, they're out of there. I can't catch them. I guess if I could, I guess I could break the army up. Yeah, I'm gonna break the army apart until somebody uh, comes in to smush me. So armies manage this band for now. F1, F12, you need to press function to activate them. Ah, that's it? Okay. That is a bit annoying, I guess. You gotta switch your hand. Can't you deactivate the function key? I see. Okay, you can use the function keys. You have to use uh, the FN as a function button. No number panda on the right side, okay. Again, I feel like you should be able to set that up from the keyboard section, right? What are you guys doing? Traveling to Kaliok. Right, that's our city. Uh, village. 
Kingdom Diplomacy Defensive. Just want to make sure that all the parties are set to defensive. Good. You do have a full keyboard though, then why don't you switch to the full keyboard? It sounds like you're suffering for no reason then. I'm expecting an army to hit Varrock again. Calatild is running north. I think Calatild is a representative of Jacqueline. Is that a name Maximus after the gladiator? Maybe. Nah, I just sounded cool. <laughs> Didn't really think about the uh, gladiator, Cr um, Russell Crowe in particular, but I just went for Maximus. Hmm. Man, I should have called him my character instead of Caesar. I should have called him Big Mar. His name should have been Big Mar. So Sigmar, but not really Sigmar. He's bigger. So Big Mar. Caravan, caravan, caravan. Traveling to Fen on a tier. Oh, to further recruit. That's kind of cool. Can I figure your name as well, since you're almost at the top of the tournament leaderboard? I guess. Plan Arcan Falls, that's going to be great. Trindor is now creating an army. Huh. Interesting. Do I risk running north? Which faction you reckon as you start as? What type of units do you like, Dave? If you like infantry, Sturgia. If you like archers, the most powerful foot archers, Batania. If you like a balanced, heavily armored faction, Empire. If you like melee horse or knights, Vlandia. If you like um, horse archers, Kuzait. If you like balanced army but with less armor and more focus on hit and run tactics and speed, Asarai. That's it. It all depends on what you like. I. Got him? Nah, he escaped. Talavel... Hmm? Um... Mario Daniel. 1995. Thank you for becoming a follower. Welcome to Hit Point N. Or Mario Daniel. However you want me to pronounce it. Start as Batania, but also speed and force to join Blandia for easy time. I guess. Uh, let's see. Any new information on printer? Last year you're in Lanark Hen. Ooh! Okay, he's not that far off. Let's travel north and try to talk with him. For the first time experience, I learned about the game. To be honest, I feel like it's easier to just stick in Empire territories for a, for a balanced start because of the uh, ease in tournaments. I like to build an army with Sturgeon Infantry, with the Young Archers, Fionns. Okay, uh, so Sturgeon Infantry and Fion Archers. I'd recommend you start off with Batania then to secure those Archers first. Just to make sure that you always have access to them. And then just recruit uh, Infantry on the side. They're... Can I help Penok Penkanok, I wonder? No, Penkanok is is gone. Sorge is difficult in the endgame, lords are too stupid. I think that applies for all factions, right? Let's see if I can talk with Prindor. I can help them. Take that castle. 
Hmm. Join the continuing siege and attack. Yeah, sure. Let's help him out. Maybe I'm gonna get some uh, some bonus friendship points. Whoo! This looks fucking sick. Oh, that doesn't look sick. Oh, that doesn't look sick either. Okay. I gotta get off my horse. You were in a field battle and the Lord said we'll crush them with our cavalry with two cavalry left? That's great. Oh my fucking god. I regret everything. Okay. Oh my good god. Jesus Christ, those siege engines, though. Holy hell. Oh my god. Stop. Just stop. Why are we attacking? <laughs> we have to uh, get up there and take out that siege engine. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Where my boys at? Where my boys at? I'm not even sure where we could place the ladders. Oh my good lord. They're so devastating. Bonk. No, they missed that one? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Ladder, 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 ladder. Go, 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 uh, go. Do I touch it from here? Yes. Go, 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 go. Come on. Upsy-daisy. We gotta silence those siege engines. Oh my good fuck. Before they hit my own troops. Uh, hello, sir? Sir? No, sir. No, 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 sir. No, no, no. I am, I'm a friend. I'm, I'm, yes. Okay, let's go up. Jesus. Go, go, go. Ah, uh, wrong location, but I killed the archer. Never mind. Where is the siege engine? Oh, see it. I just gotta... Ooh, I just gotta go through all of those dudes. To reach them. Great. Hey, nice. We actually have dudes on the walls. That's great. Are they running for the hills? No, no, that's Hysteria. Please tell me you silence those uh, siege engines. Oh, enemies. Guys? Help a brother out, please. Oh, it's gonna be a bitch to see my troops over the enemies. Oh, God. Four. It's four too many. Wrong location. You gotta keep going. They're in. But I think the siege engine is still firing. Fuck off. Oh my god. Please, let me up there. I'm fat and slow. Get them off that... Get them off that siege engine, and of course, yes. All right, good, good, good. We won, but at what cost? Sweet God, people. Why did you destroy their siege engines first? Ah, I regret everything. I regret everything. I lost four dudes for no reason. My man, Prindor, what's up? What's up, Prindy Boo? Just gonna grab those, uh, oh my goodness gracious, I have a lot of prisoners myself. <gasps> okay. I'm just gonna grab a few, just top of my prisoner numbers, I guess. Veteran Hardened, Skirmisher, Sharpie Sharp, Gallant Sword, Sword, and a few three boys. There. Eh? Huh? And 
then I grab everything. Thanks for the help of the siege. Good. Leave. Actually, approach the gates. Request to meet with someone and talk to Prindor. Sup, Bubblegum? What do you think of your liege? Oh, you won't listen about this stuff while you're in the army. Okay. When do you leave the army, though? When do you get out of the army, man? <sighs> well, that didn't really go as planned. Pentakonok is going to fall. I don't think they can handle that many troops, and I can't break through. But they took Lanark in, huh? So good. Let's go back to Sargon and sell prisoners. Also, for some odd reason, I'm not recruiting prisoners. I don't know why. And level up. Let's see. Do I roguery it up? I guess so. We roguery it up. I'm a little bit worried that uh, Pen after Pen Canuck, they're going to go for Varon. Oh, hello, Calatild. I'd like to capture you and uh, defeat you. And... Youth is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Well, you know me now, Baroness Calatild. We're at war. <laughs> We're at war. <gasps> Revelations. All right. Let's do it. I don't think I've healed everybody up, but we should be fine. Alright, how many troops do we have? 41? I think it's just going to be one infantry blob this time around. 84, that's a little bit much, but it should be fine. Itaria, Akadan... And Itaria is going to be the cavalry leader for now. That'll be fine. I don't know how many enemy calves there are, but it should be okay. Let's see. Always help the Batanian village tied to Batanian castle. The more relations between you and the village notables, the more troops you can hire from them. That's true, yeah. If you want to go for those uh, sexy, sexy fians. You're in a field battle, and the Lord said we'll crush them with our cavalry with two cavalry left. Yeah, that's... Nah. Nah. The computer says no. So 137 Archerinos should be doing a lot of damage. I just need to spread them out a bit further. There it is. Gathering behind, good, ready. Are they charging like madmen? They're approaching. Yeah, they're approaching. Uh, everyone hold fire for now. Infantry step over to the left. Uh-huh. Cavalry is definitely coming in. Everyone open fire. Let's see if we can make short work over those calves. I kind of doubt it, though. We come on, take him out, take him out. There it is. Not enough, but it'll do. Everyone hold fire. Enemy is holding position. All right. If it's form a line, everybody follow me. Let us approach the wiggle. Archers, sorry. Uh -huh. uh, no. 
here, infantry here, cavalry somewhere, I haven't decided yet. Cavalry somewhere over there. Everyone hold fire, everyone open fire. Go, go. Let them have it. All right. Hello, Benny boys. Come on, he doesn't have a shield. Shoot him. Get him. Get him. Don't let him out. Don't let him out. What? Why is my base phasing through his face? That's what's up. That's what's up. Ooh, that's a lot of archers. Guys, why is this cavalryman in front of me and not dead? Thank you. Ah, man. Flag is a bit confusing. Have a charge. Eighteen damage. What do you mean? Thirty-four. There it is. Seems Calatilt has been utilizing this army for a long time. I'm not sure why these, these uh, crossbowmen are here. Infantry charge. Go, go, go. Alright, let's run them down. We'll try to do the deeps. Alright. And they're running for the hills. Dude, this was not an easy battle. They smushed quite a few of us. We need to check out casualties, but yeah, that was not an easy fight. Two of mine, but 30 of Akadans. Damn. God damn it, Baroness Lady. I like you. You're free to go. I wouldn't mind increasing my, my relation a little bit with you. Uh, these prisoners, though, um, all of them with me. Yeah, I know. All of that gear. Good, and hopefully I can reach Sargot before they escape. Good. Tavern District. Just ransom all of the prisoners. We need money. That's fine. I know that I just uh, sold a lot of Empire recruits there, but it's fine. We'll live. Okay, let's grab some... Do I grab some grain? No, we have so much grain. Holy hell. But I can grab some of the other food. sure if this is even healthy for the for the squad okay ups a daisy Prindor is wait no no he's the new order of love can no foiled drats Okay, anybody else? Yeah, Kelly has Marinath. Dunglanis. I guess Clan Uvain. Man, really wish I would have grabbed a Morkar. Then Benric. Okay. Then Gyal. Nah, they're too weak. 
156 with Eredwyr. Just don't have relations with him. Okay, uh, Penric or Ravain. Lucian has escaped captivity. And Tegan has escaped captivity. Sorry, Melodier is... Last scene, released from battle. Okay. Nathan is do Oh, hello, Durhurt. It's the king. He wants to besiege Veron Castle. Uh -oh. Okay. I think that's our cue. He wants to besiege Veron Castle on his own. Interesting. Hey, Sargatus Prosperity is increasing. That's nice. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you guys like what I do, please hit that follow button. It's going to notify you when I stream. If you want to further support me, also subscribe. If you're on YouTube, I have multiple guides and playthroughs that you guys can check out. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And also with the YouTube algorithm. That's it. And I wish you boys and girls a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.